Call it spring, like everything. The sun for flowers calling on warm days over to you. But I call, call like everything. Say what's up, guys. Welcome to our first ever YouTube video. We are going to show you how we go grocery shopping. Hope you guys enjoy. Guys, so before we go grocery shopping, I like to take an entire look at our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry. Um, try and identify the gaps of things that I need. Right now we have hummus, pico, eggs, avocado, mushrooms, bacon, chicken thighs, seltzer, Wrigley's food. We have Kerrygold butter and Vital Farms butter. And we also have Green Valley cream cheese. I've been really craving bagel and a cream cheese with my eggs, so I'm gonna switch things up this week and do that. These are things I had already picked up um, through our midweek grocery shopping because we've had events going on, so we're kind of all over the place. So some of our gaps are already filled. We have hot sauce, sriracha, barbecue, steak sauce, soy sauce, bone broth, some powders, and almond milk, kraut, mayo, ketchup, ranch, and mustard. And then going into our freezer, same thing here. We try and keep it super simple. And we have frozen fruits, extra jasmine rice, green beans, broccoli, um, siete foods, tortillas. We have Dave's Killer Bread bagels. And then Ezekiel Raisin, English muffins, some chili lime burgers, and turkey burgers. And then coming over to our pantry, same thing as always. Pretty repetitive here, but simple. We try and keep it super clean. Um, baking stuff is down there, extra jasmine rice and coffee beans and supplements are all down there. I keep pretzels around and granola. I like to add them in different things or eat them as a snack. We have our banza rice and our banza pasta. Canned tuna, dark chocolate, grain-free taco shells, loose leaf tea, nut butter galore, pasta sauce, olive oil, nuts and oats. Our seasoning lineup, thanks Trader Joe's, some seeds, onions, more tea, natural calm, coconut oil, and potatoes. Break it. Hi. So as you guys can see, we try and keep things super clean, organized, and simple when it comes to our freezer, our fridge, and our pantry. We do this not only because it feels good to open up those doors and see a clean and organized space, but we do it because it really supports us to stay healthy consistently. We all have those days when we come home, whether we came home later than expected, we come home underfed, whatever the case, or we're tired and stressed, if we have a whole pantry full of snacky things or there's like, you know, grandma's fudge and pie in the freezer and the fridge, we are going to consume those foods. They are easy, they're hyper palatable, and they're already ready for us to just dig into. So if we want those foods, we have them. However, we have to plan for it, we have to go get it, and I think that's been really supportive for us. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I plan my meals on a piece of paper before I go into the grocery store. This is like the key to just happiness, I think. If I didn't take this piece of paper with me, what happens is I probably will forget things and then I'm so frustrated, I don't go back out and then I could be missing something as important as like eggs and then I'm having a carb breakfast and I'm not full the rest of the day and everything just kind of goes to you know what. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I plan on my meals. This is what you are going to want to pay attention to. Okay, so we have our list. I basically, I'll show you guys on the whiteboard in there when we come back, but what I do is I try and see how many meals I can pair together with the foods that I have prepped, um, and that's how we kind of keep variety in our diet by eating the same types of foods. So I'm gonna go ahead, head out to Wegmans. By the time we come back, I will go ahead and show you the receipt. I'll show you everything that I got, and then I'll show you again how we're gonna go ahead and pair our meals. See ya. right back. Guys, this place is crazy, people are crazy, and I already forgot things like on my list that I meant to add on my list, so I added apples. So far just apples, but I'll get there. I 
Alright guys, so we've got everything. The only thing I forgot on my list was apples. The rest is... Mm. Alright guys, so we ended up spending $95.46 for both Max and I for the entire week. Um, that's pretty much how much we spend anyways. We usually spend no more than $150 when we do our full grocery haul, like when I need a full size of chicken thighs, bacon, eggs, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, we don't usually spend more than that. We're actually pretty shocked when between the two of us we spend more than $150. Like, if we ever see that number on the screen, we're like, oh my god, what did we even buy? Um, so, keeping it pretty, keeping it simple is not only important to keeping yourself healthy and staying consistent, um, but it also pays off. We don't spend much money on food. So, yeah. That's a grocery haul. I'm gonna take you guys home. We will look at the full spread when we get in my kitchen, and then I'll show you guys how we pair meals together. All right, am I gonna be the one trip wonder? Yes, closed. Hi! All right, they're all inside. Let's start putting them in the kitchen. Come on. Do you want a cookie? Can you sit? Good boy. So, seltzers, steaks, chicken thighs, uh, avocados, cucumbers, carrots, apples, strawberries, broccoli, and green beans. So at first you're like, okay, this is not going to feed two people. Um, but realistically, again, we already have some chicken thighs in the fridge. So usually I'll buy the big family pack for Max and I at Wegmans. But again, since we had some, I just grabbed the small pack to keep us through the end of the week. Um, we have been loving these perfect portion strip steaks that Wegmans has in a pack of two. Um, they run about anywhere from $7.50 to $9.50 for both of these. So this has been awesome because like some nights I'll have one of these, but then other nights I'll have two because sometimes it's about eight ounces, which is perfect for me. I got one, two, three, four of those. Um, and then we have green beans because we were running low on them. We always get the French style. Uh, we just like them shredded. I feel like they're easier to eat. Um, we needed one bag of broccoli because we already had a good amount, but I wanted to make sure we had the same. Like we usually have about five or six in the freezer. I got fresh strawberries this week. Normally I don't get fresh fruit, like I was saying earlier, but I've been really wanting chocolate and strawberries. So I got my dark chocolate last week. Um, and got some strawberries this week. Apples are the one thing that I forgot to put on my list earlier, but when I saw them, I was like, crap, I forgot to write that. And I got them. Max loves having honey crisp apples with nut butter, and sometimes I just steal a slice off his plate. Um, carrots for hummus, cucumbers for hummus, avocados for whether I'm mixing them into meals or I put them on toast with the perfect breakfast. I also forgot earlier to show you guys that I already had uh, sourdough, and this is the rosemary sourdough from Wegmans as well. I had gotten that midweek because I ran out of sourdough. So, yep, I already had that ready for the perfect breakfast. All right, guys, so that is the bulk of our groceries for this week. Again, we already had some of those things in the fridge, the freezer, and the pantry, but that's just kind of filling in the gaps to make sure we have enough for this week. Something I want to point out, though, is that did I really need to get more green beans and broccoli given that we already have some in the freezer? No. However, something that I love about the way that Max and I shop, getting things that overlap into the following week, is that we don't run out of groceries on Saturday and Sunday. So a common thing I'll hear from clients is like, oh, so like on Saturday I keep running out of food. So then I order takeout. Or like, hey, can I have an untracked day on Saturday since I don't have food left in the house? And like, yes, while there's different things that I'll do with clients about like, hey, yeah, go untracked here, or do this, blah, 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 blah. It's important to make sure you get enough groceries for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those are, that's three days out of your seven days in a week. So it's important that if you have goals, if you're trying to stay healthy consistently, that you actually get enough food and that you keep things in the freezer that you can pull out whenever they don't go bad by Saturday. So that's something that I would definitely recommend doing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys up on the whiteboard how I keep a variety of meals given that I only buy simple ingredients and how I cannot, how I can avoid being bored of my food. 
All right, cool. So this is basically our entire list of groceries that are present in this house right now. Okay, so I went ahead and made the list of things that I would normally eat out of this simple list. Um, the only thing I didn't include on here is snacks and we can get to that. But so for breakfast, we can do um, the perfect breakfast. We can do an egg scramble with a bagel and cream cheese. We can do breakfast tacos. We can do oatmeal and hard boiled eggs, steak and eggs. And we can kind of like intertwine those things. Um, for lunch, we can do tuna salad with pretzels and veggies with hummus. The veggies with hummus, I try to keep um, every single day in my snacking, which is just carrots, cucumbers, and hummus. Um, chicken with potatoes and broccoli, steak with rice and green beans. And then dinner, we can, I mean, and these things are intertwinable up here too. We can do tacos for lunch. Um, it's not just for dinner, we can make bowls. But I basically did the same thing here. I'm just mix and matching all of these. So our prep will be in a different video, but when we prep everything, we bulk prep things and it makes it easy to just take from those bowls and make these kind of meals. My snacks will be um, strawberries with dark chocolate, apples and nut butter, again, carrots and cucumbers with hummus, uh, I might even snack on oatmeal with frozen fruit and honey. Yeah, I just figured this would be really helpful for you, helpful for you guys to see that when we pair different meals with the same items, you can stay really consistent and not get bored of your meals. All right guys, that is it for this week. I hope it was helpful to see how I went from evaluating what was already in my fridge, freezer, and pantry to actually making a list separated by my proteins carbs and fats and extras to also going ahead and executing on buying simple things in the grocery store and avoiding processed foods, junk food in the middle aisles, et cetera, et cetera. Be mindful that also with these choices on the whiteboard to change your sauces and your seasonings. However, that is going to be in next week's video. I'm going to actually show you guys how I prep all of those foods and uh, yeah, how I go ahead and make sure that everything is accessible and easy in the fridge to just grab out and make these kind of meals really quickly. Hey, do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Say please like, please subscribe. Please tell us that you like this video.